Hey everybody, Jack Loves Painting here, and it ain't easy being green. We're going to be painting some green skin today with this tutorial. I got this really awesome miniature here. This is a discontinued Orc Mega Boss from Artel Miniatures. I've done some slight conversion to it just to make it my own. It's going to be part of my upcoming Orc Army for the month of Orctober. We're going to start off with some black Steinal Res Primer as per usual and get that sprayed all over the model. This guy is mostly resin, so when I work with resin, I like to hit the model in light coats, just kind of go back and forth. Don't focus too much on any one area because sometimes that paint will not want to stick to the resin and it might pull up on you. You definitely don't want that uh, with any of your coats, especially not the primer coat. So just take your time, kind of hit it from all angles. Um, get close in, get really far away, just like whatever it takes to get all of that resin coated in our primer. All right, time for the base coat. I'm gonna change things up a bit. I'm gonna be trying to do a little bit of a different work up on this guy, trying to stay more clean so what we're going to do is actually take this refractive green from Vallejo model color and hand paint it onto all of our exposed skin because this guy is basically wearing kind of uh i guess you could call it mega armor like it's it's not really a full suit of mega armor so you could run him uh, with or without it if you really wanted to so uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of skin showing and because of that i'm not going to coat the whole model in our skin colors it's just a waste of paint and it's going to take too long so I'm going to base coat our exposed flesh sections with the base color for our skin and just a couple of thin coats like you can see this model color is pretty watery it does really cover great sticks to the model even if it's really thinned out which makes this process really easy just kind of going in uh, not worried about being too clean on this just because we're going to end up hand base coating a lot of other colors throughout the painting process and just get that refractive green on there all right now that that is dry we're gonna bust out the airbrush with a little p3 bog moss and uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can do green skin for this guy we're going with a little bit of a more realistic look uh, maybe more of a, a lighter skin tannish kind of orc so i'm going in with the bog moss and just kind of getting the broad strokes on these muscle groups and uh, like the face and the uh, little bit of the chest and pecs that you can see on the fingers, just broad strokes and not trying to target anything with this first color, just basing over our uh, initial coat of refractive green. All right, from there, we're gonna get out some Ogren Camo. I know that label's hard to read, but it's kind of a light greenish khaki color, uh, not like a bone color. It's got a little bit of green content to it, with, which makes it that kind of perfect tan color for this workup. So with this color, I am gonna focus on the muscle groups, on the shoulder, on the bicep there, that kind of thing. I am gonna focus those with the airbrush and uh, pop out those highlights and uh, just going to be working through those. And like I said, there's a bunch of different ways to do green skin. Um, this is just one way to do it that I would like. There's also uh, the really kind of goblin green kind of workup that you can do uh, with some other colors. I'll probably end up doing uh, a few different models with a few different green skin workups just to have some variety to the skin tones in the army. But for the war boss, I wanted him to look a little bit uh, meaner and grittier. So that's why we're going with a more realistic shade. And uh, rare occurrence as well is I'm using the Citadel wash system. So I've got some Athonian camo shade, which is kind of a brownish green wash. I'm just going to be kind of dabbing that in across the model, trying not to do really hard swipes just because we uh, airbrushed this paint on there. I don't want to tear it up being very gentle. And I'm just going to kind of let it go where it wants to go. If uh, you're doing wash like this and you do get any areas where 
there's like a really big stain or something that you're worried about, you can always just dip your brush in some water and very gently swish that around on the model to uh, get that wash to move where you want it to. It's kind of a back and forth process. So just take your time and be careful. And now that our wash is dry, I wanted to play this part of the video in uh, real time so it's not really sped up. We're going to take our time and kind of talk about this. Uh, this step on a skin workup is really important and I'm going to show you what I do. Take some of our flow improver and I'm going to put that in the airbrush. Just, you know, a good, good portion of flow improver. It doesn't really matter how much, just like a lot. And then I'm going to take a very, very small amount of our brightest color, in this case, Ogre and Camo. Just dip my brush in there and get like a little drop of it. And then I'm gonna mix that into our flow improver. And what this does is that even though when it's when it's mixed up, it looks like just paint, it's actually gonna spray very, very thin and semi-transparent. It's almost like a glaze over top of the model. And as we spray that, we're gonna put that over the muscles and it's gonna clean the top of those muscles up it's going to clean it up from the wash that's kind of stained it up a little bit so if you have any little stains like that you can focus those with this little glaze through the airbrush and clean that up and it's also going to soften out the areas that the wash is in so it's not going to look like a hand-drawn picture with like hard lines and little color highlights it's going to be really soft almost like real flesh and if this is something that you like to do you can definitely do that i've done it on uh, a number of different models I actually use a technique like this when I paint Space Marine faces to get a really soft, realistic look with our color workups. And I'm just trying it out on this guy. And if this isn't for you, feel free to skip this step. Or uh, maybe if you want a more stark contrast, you can uh, do the, the Army Painter wash instead of the uh, Citadel wash that's going to stain a little bit more. And it's just personal preference. But on this guy, this is kind of what I'm feeling. So. I wanted to show you guys this technique so you could see kind of how it reacts and the way to mix the paint to get that really transparent color and then just spray it on the model. I'm targeting certain places because I do want our bright highlights to be really bright, but on like the top of the arm and some of the recesses where that wash is really strong, I'm just softening that out with this really transparent paint.
All right, here he is. That paint's nice and dry, and you can see that uh, we don't have a lot of staining there. He's still got some kind of dirty, oily-looking orc skin, and that's okay, but we got a really nice, soft flesh workup with that kind of tannish green orc skin. So hope you guys liked that tutorial. Make sure to catch me on Twitch, and I'll see you all next time.